Going from point and shoot to mounting your camera on the tripod for long exposure can radically change your images. You can hold your shutter open to extend the blue hour to include the stars. Make a city glow and capture its colors not only above ground, but on the surface of water. You can give motion to a still image like this carousel turning in the night, or look at the flags in the upper corners of this image and the people moving on the Golden Bridge in Florence, Italy. Look down the sidewalk and you'll see the ghostly images of the residents of Cadiz, Spain strolling along the ocean's edge. In the previous episode, we toured the 10,000 tour gates of the Fushimi Inari Teisha Shrine in Kyoto. Now, we are going to use the magic of long exposure to capture the shrine at night. I want to take a moment to thank all of my supporters like Bruce Burchett, Ryan Tang, and Real Paris. I would love to hear about the places that all of you enjoy photographing in the comments. After a long climb that all of you enjoyed in the previous episode, we are stopping for dinner. After a good local brew and cuisine, we are ready to grab our cameras and start the night. Hey everybody, welcome to an evening photo shoot. We are back here at all these Tory gates where we're going to try and capture some nighttime images. So I've selected a couple of places on our hike up that I wanted to revisit uh, to capture them at night. So let's get this uh, photo shoot started. Walking up to the shrine, you can see why we need to use long exposure. There's just not enough light for a camera and a flash would be both annoying and useless. The gate of the shrine is going to give us some beautiful long exposures. So I'm moving a little bit in closer here towards this, uh, the main gate here, but what I'm also doing is switching over to my phone because uh, even though I have a two second delay, the tripod's still settling a bit from when I press the shutter buttons. It's now going to be completely hands-free for the rest of the night, so I don't have to worry about any more tripod shake causing blurry images. So this one is actually going to be a 30 second exposure. Here, in the dark, you see nothing. But now, you see the drama of the gate's architecture along with the moon turning the sky blue. Walking through this tunnel toward gates earlier today, I noticed the lanterns. At night, these provided the light we needed to capture the Tory tunnel. So that's it for tonight's photo shoot. Sorry that I did it all in voiceover, but it is really dark in there. I actually have a flashlight shining on me right now so you guys can see me. But this place is really cool. Now the reason why I came back at night is because a lot of the images I see of this place is all during the daytime. So I thought it'd be a really cool idea to, to come back here and get it at night. I saw there's lanterns lighting up these different Tories and I think it paid off. At least from what I can see in the viewfinder, it looked pretty good. But anyhow guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and uh, hit that uh, uh, subscribe button. And then of course, please consider adopting a shelter animal or giving to your local animal shelter. Take care and I'll see you on the next adventure.